Bakers to At the Bench, presented by Craft to Crumb and Baking Innovation, sponsored by Don Foods, your partner for bakery success. I am your host, Richard Charpentier, certified master baker, bakery scientist, and owner of Baking Innovation. Get ready for some great insights as we interview bakers one on one. Today, I have the privilege of welcoming Joshua Alderondo, owner of Delicias Bakery in Colorado Spring, Colorado. Hey, Joshua, how are you? Oh, good. What about yourself? Very well, very well. Really happy to have you here for At The Bench. So first question I'd like to ask you, can you tell us a little more about sort of who you are and then where your bakery is. Okay, so I'm Joshua Narondo. I'm from Puerto Rico. We have a wholesale bakery that provides bread to about 50 restaurants in Colorado Springs, Colorado. What inspired you to to become a a baker and how did you get started in in the industry? So long story short, I started working at the Wisconsin uh, in Naples, with a great baker and uh, I didn't know I wanted to be a baker until I got to the Ritz and I was given the opportunity to be one of the main bakers. And then I work at another five-star five diamond hotel in Colorado that is called the Broadmoor. It's the only one that has retained the five-star five diamond award for more than 50 consecutive years. And after that, I always saw the need of good bread for restaurants because the options weren't the the best ones in town. So I had the other opportunity that a bakery was closing and they already have a few accounts and I decided to take over that bakery and then from there it expanded and we kept growing every year with new customers as the word spread in town because we don't advertise or look for accounts or anything. All the accounts that we have, they have come to us because they heard about us. Word of mouth is the best yeah. way to spread the quality of your product. That's fantastic. Yeah. With being a wholesale bakery, what are sort of the you know trends or, or innovations that you see of consumers of of customers asking you to do, and and what is it that in your bakery that you make the most of? So I think I would say sourdough and white bread are the most famous ones. And there's a big trend to more uh, clean label, more artisan bread, uh, even more rustic looking bread that the customers are asking a lot. We try to keep it a, a, a five star, five diamond quality, but still fulfill the needs of our customers. That what kind of fermentation do you guys use for, for all your breads? For the sourdough, we have a 24 hour uh, fermentation process. We retard it overnight. I make sure we get the, the proper fermentation for those. And the same for everything. Like the most expensive ingredient any bakery have is time. It's not so much the ingredients that we put in, but the time and the love that you put into the bread. So if it's a bread that you can mix, shape, and bake in an hour, obviously don't didn't get the proper fermentation. So I, I think that's the biggest challenge, but what set us apart from other bakeries, we know the science and the art of it. Uh, we're able to put the time and, uh, and the love to our breaths. That's the way it should be. You know, it's all about time and temperature, but you know, and plus the love and the, the tender love and care of, of the baker. Well, 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 yeah. well said. And for our last question, wanted to know what advice would you give anyone wanting to get into the business today? So work hard uh, because that's the only way to achieve success. I'm trying to learn as much as you can of everything, not just the recipes or the fermentation process, but also the money side of the business, the maintenance side of the business. I think that's because those are the, the biggest hiccups we have. Like uh, machines break down, what do we do? There's nobody in town that know how to work with those machines that many times are very uh, specialized. It's hard to keep moving the bakery when one machine goes down and you don't have any options. Great point. You know, being a baker is more than just making bread. You got to be doing everything, the accounting, the maintenance, and, and it never stops. Excellent yeah. point. Well, I really 
very much appreciate your time, Joshua, to share with you your thoughts and, and a little bit about your bakery. Thank you very much for listening and watching At The Bench with Richard Charpentier, and we'll see you next month. Thank you very much. For all of your product development needs, think of Baking Innovation. We are your ultimate team of bakery experts, scientists, engineers with over 120 years of experience from technical support to education, science and process efficiency. We've got every aspect of your baking needs covered with unparalleled results. So give us a shot.